Okay, uh, so next I would like to talk about uh, how our path-based solution uh, secure uh, chat GPT and AI. Uh, recently, AI's application in uh, chat GPT has been a hot topic. Uh, just la just uh, last month, Samsung employees in accidentally leaked proprietary information uh, make uh, companies worldwide aware of um, some of the risk associated with uh, chat GPT. Today, today, I would talk about how chat GPT or even AI operations can be hacked, attacked. Then uh, we will discuss how our path-based technology can help secure AI operations. So turning to the uh, page uh, 12, yeah. Uh, chat GPT is a great tool that can answer even the most complex questions. That's why we decided to challenge it and see if chat GPT itself is aware that it needs security and how this program goes about it. I will uh, use this as an example to talk about how path-based uh, solution can protect AI securities. So as you can see from the screenshot on the right, when asked how do you secure chat GPT, uh, the answer is list uh, in the slide. Uh, although it may not uh, be com completed, but, uh, we just use it as an example. And uh, from this uh, answers, we have highlighted some of the keywords we thought were important and list how our company can help solve the problem according to the bullet point, uh, according to the bullet, uh, each bullet point numbers. Okay, for the first, uh, the uh, answer is uh, to protect the data encryption between the user and the GPT. So to encrypt the, uh, the data between the exchange between the user and the chat GPT, uh, our path can be used to generate keys for the encryption. And uh, the second point is the uh, mentioned authentication and the access control need to be uh, managed uh, in order to protect the chat GPT. So we can use a path as an unique ID and they can generate secret keys for authentication. And the third point is how chat GPT identifies security breaches. Uh, so uh, by doing the ad, uh, auditing and also the uh, lock, the lock. Uh, and this will also re re require the system to be able to identify user. So PUB can be utilized to generate uh, such ID for the each users. So then in the future, we can track, trace, trace the uh, uh, user's uh, ID and also the, their log data. And for the first part is how ChatGPT regularly updates and uh, fix its system. And, uh, this is uh, typically done by over the air uh, to uh, uh, upgrade the uh, uh, OS or the uh, <coughs> system parameters. So PATH-based IP is capable of uh, signing uh, firmware and the software updates. So through the over the air to update the systems. And uh, the last one is the uh, about the security awareness training. And by adopting uh, the hardware security, uh, we can uh, limit the chances of human error during the operations. So with these points in mind, it is easy to see how our security solution can be applied to AI applications. And I will further explain how it is done in the following few, few slides. So before understanding how our security solution work, we must first understand how some of the uh, 
popular attack that can ha happen not only in chat GPT, but also in AI system in general. There are four types of uh, major attacks. The first one is uh, called poisoning attack. A poisoning attack happens when the attacker, attacker tem tempers to training, uh, tr uh, tempers to uh, the training data, which will then affect the training model, allow the hacker to manip manipulate the results through the model. And the second attack is called backdoor at attack. Hackers may also replace the model uh, during a backdoor attack by ad adding additional neurons to the model. And the third attack is called evasion attack. So even after a model has been trained and the hacker can still manipulate data uh, resulting in an evasion attack leading incorrect output because of uh, modi modified input data. And uh, the fourth one is uh, stealing attack. And uh, this attack applied to all stage of the AI model, uh, all the training data, model parameters, user data, et cetera, are all variable know-how and also vulnerable to be stolen from uh, AI uh, hardware. So uh, basically, uh, these four are the major attack to the AI systems. And uh, uh, this, uh, uh, the next, we'd like to talk about the, uh, the each attack, uh, how do you uh, mitigate, mitigate those attacks because uh, each attack will require uh, different protection methods and uh, solutions. So for the poisoning attack, the problem uh, with a poisoning attack is the training data may be corrupted. And so we need to sign the training data to ensure the in, in, in the integrity of the data. So by signing uh, the uh, training data to make sure the integrity of the data, we uh, will use the pub-based uh, solution for the signing. I think I will talk about that uh, in the next section by uh, how to use our pub-based solution to do the uh, signing or signature. And uh, about the backdoor attack, the backdoor attack, uh, the Biggest problem is modifying, replacing, or even steering the model. Not only does this require signing the model to protect its integrity, but it also needs additional encryption and the key management to prevent hackers from gaining access to the model. And for the uh, uh, evasion attack, uh, how to protect the evasion attack. Unlike the previous method that uh, target the training and the model, evasion attacks pose a problem with input data. Attackers can tamper with uh, input data to influence the output or results. That's why we must authenticate and uh, provision users use the, an unique ID and encrypt the asset. And about the stealing attack, the last attack is the, the theft of all the AI assets to, pre, to avoid the attack, attacks, stealing valuable data and the know-how from the AI hardware. We need an unique ID, sign-in, encryption, and an anti-tempering how will design to dissuade the attackers. So of all the problems we have uh, mentioned, uh, our path can play a very important role in solving these issues. We have uh, developed two types of uh, security IP. Uh, one is uh, a hardware rule of trust, and the other is 
a crypto coprocessor. The rule of trust, IP, uh, is also called PuffRT, combines Puff, and, uh, which is uh, so-called the physical uncombable functions, and uh, secure IP and a true random number generator. Besides, we have implemented multiple anti-tempering techniques to defend against attacks. On top of that, uh, uh, our crypto coprocessor, uh, which is called PuffCC, comes with all of the above and uh, have a cryptographic uh, hardware accelerator built in on it. Uh, with all the industry standard uh, crypto algorithm supported, uh, we also have a firmware and the software such that uh, our crypto coprocessor can enable advanced security protocol and applications for the users. So after understanding the risk of all each stage of AI used to operate ChatGPT, it is easy to see that the pub-based solution are efficient for all security requirements throughout the AI product lifecycle. From training data to inference results, the AI developers' know-how must be protected from copying and uh, stealing. Pub-based solutions are secure and uh, cost-effective, and uh, the IP blocks make them best suited for securing AI applications. And this uh, concludes my remarks. Next, I will, we will enter the uh, Q&A section. Thank you.